Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm the teacher, author, and owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we're talking all about how to use tech to teach math for understanding. Why use tech and math? Technology can be beneficial when it helps aid instruction for students. Technology that fosters deep mathematical thinking when used appropriately can be effective in the math classroom. Research indicates that math apps and websites that focus on math learning with the use of virtual manipulatives are highly effective, and in some cases, more efficient than physical manipulatives. Let's look at five different tech apps you can use in your classroom. Number one, Desmos. There are many math tools you can use in Desmos, including the graphing calculator, scientific calculator, four function calculator, test practice, matrix calculator, and the geometry tool. While TI calculators are still useful when working in higher math classes like trigger calculus. Desmos is an online graphic calculator that can do everything a $100 TI calculator can do and more. Plus, it's free. If you are teaching in a one-to-one -one classroom, the Desmos team has an excellent job in bringing math education into the 21st century. Desmos has created an activity builder that teachers can use to build interactive lessons that students can do on their own. What's more, they've curated a comprehensive library of lessons that are free for teachers to use. So check out teacher.desmos.com to create your own activities or use some of the feature lessons already done. Number two, GeoGebra. GeoGebra is very similar to Desmos in that it harnesses the computing power of classroom devices like tablets or Chromebooks to do things. GeoGebra is a program that you can run in web browser or a standalone app that you can use to demonstrate math concepts and graphical representations. There's a library of over 400,000 plus lessons you can search from, and you shouldn't have much problem finding a lesson to choose from there. There are so many. There are a lot of great examples in the GeoGebra library that you can project onto the front of your classroom if you're not a one-to-one -one classroom. Number three, the Math Learning Center Math Apps. There are 14 free apps that are based on visual models featured in Bridges in Mathematics. These apps are available in multiple versions, a web app for all modern browsers and downloadable versions for specific operating systems and devices, such as Apple iOS for iPad. You can access these free apps on mathlearningcenter.org forward slash apps. The Math Learning Center, for example, provides several manipulative options such as RenRex, GeoBoards, number lines, and number frames. Apps and websites that provide these types of virtual tools are easy to use, support students with conceptual understanding, and increase student access to math tools. You can use these apps to review number sense, vocabulary, fractions, and much more. Check out all the apps you can use in your classroom too. Number four, explain everything. This is a content neutral technology that includes tools such as virtual whiteboards, handheld clickers, and student collaboration apps. Virtual whiteboard and websites such as Explain Everything promote self-reflection, enable students to make their learning visible and share and connect ideas, and have been linked with high level student thinking and teacher questioning. Check out explaineverything.com to see everything you can use. And last but not least, number five, Kahoot. Kahoot will easily be the most popular learning tool you use with your students. Why? Well, because Kahoot is a powerful educational tool backed by a lot of good research. And it is very addicting game format that your students can play as an entire class. The basic premise for Kahoot is simple. Teachers create a series of multiple choice questions that are projected on a screen while the students answer those multiple choice questions on their own devices. The game element comes into play because after every question, the top ranking participants are displayed before moving on to the next question, which really amps up the competitive spirit in almost every classroom. One of the really great things too about Kahoot is that it is extremely easy to set up and students do not need to create an account to participate. All they have to do is navigate to the Kahoot website, input the code for the quiz that you provide as the teacher, and they're off to the races. So there's a lot of positive reviews with more than 50% of US teachers using Kahoot, also with players in more than 200 countries and regions, and there's 50 million public games available. So there's a lot to like about Kahoot. Being a critical consumer of technology, the technology market is flooded with new apps, tech tools, gadgets, and in some instances, teachers are 
overwhelmed with increasing technology use, whether it supports healthy math learning or not. So technology can be a truly positive impact on student learning, but it should not replace teaching or ignore research-based best practices for math instruction. Technology is a supplement. It does not take away from research-based best practices, but rather it enhances and adds support for math instruction. Grab your own copy of the 10 best math manipulatives today. This is a free guide for you to use in your classroom. Click on the link in the description of this video. And if you're ready to implement technology in your classroom and teach math for understanding, the Summer Math Workshops is the fastest way to do that with workshops on math stations, math vocabulary, classroom management, math chats, and math intervention. Be ready this school year with the best tools. Sign up today. The link is available in the comments below this video. For more information about the Summer Math Workshops, be sure to sign up for our VIP teacher emails. Thank you for subscribing to our channel and we'll see you next week for part three in our series, How to Teach Math for Understanding.